back again, everyone. How are you guys doing? Welcome to another exciting one with exciting moment with Debbie, where we get to gist and chat with our amazing celebrities. Guys, thank you so much for the support. As you all know how I love to introduce myself. My name is Debbie Shokoya, a beautiful wife to a fine young blessed man. Hence the name Aya Adetola. Yes, I'm here again with another big episode and I know you would love my guest in the studio today. My guest is a perfect gentleman let me say that <laughs> that is how i choose to address him he's a perfect gentleman he's an amazing person he's a talented person and above all he's a unique being that i love and i admire welcome into the studio with me heaven is where you are welcome into the studio can't do job thank you for having Rock me guys <laughs> Is this your smile, no? <laughs> <laughs> that is what I want. <laughs> welcome into the studio. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you. you for honoring my invite. You're welcome. And you look good. I love the all white. And uh, are you going to give me this? Um, what am I going to call it? <laughs> chain before you leave here. Okay, no I problem. Mind. So <laughs> nice having you here. Yeah? And before we go into the business of today, I want to ask who is Kent Edujabi? Let's meet you. Oh, well, um, my name is um, Ken Tejujobi, but my real names are Ken De Daniel Hassan. Um, ah, Ken De Daniel Hassan. Yeah, Ken De Daniel Hassan. I'm a twin. Um, okay. I'm from a family of seven. Um, the last, to be precise, um, a Christian family. I studied um, computer science statistics from the University of Nigeria, Unsuka. Um, but above all, I mean, I'm a music maker. I like to refer to myself as a music maker because... Um, there are so many sides to what I do as yeah. as a musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you said your name is. So how did you come up with Kent Edujobi? Okay, so um, way back in secondary school, um, being a science student, my friends and I, we you know after after af I think about our first lec um, chemistry class. So we th we thought um, the we thought the uh, the the first twenty elements. Okay. Yeah. So. Because just because we didn't want to forget, uh, you know what we thought, so we decided to name ourselves after our first favorite um, element. Yeah. So mine was oxygen because obviously it gives oxygen. life. So, yeah. so I shortened my name Kende to Ken, then plus oxygen. So it used to. So I started, you know, going by the name Kent Oxygen. Kent. So, but after a while, after doing music for a while, and um, I needed to rebrand. So I knew that um, Kent Oxygen wasn't fitting or does not fit into what I do. I mean, my style and my genre. So in trying to rebrand, I was looking for something African. So I decided to say, okay, you know what? I'm a twin. And part of the eulogy or key for a twin is a Dunjobi. So I decided to say, okay, I'm just going to take the Kent. Then I'll merge it with Edwin Joby. So wow. that that was how the name Kent Edwin Joby wow. came came about. Wow, talking about your genre, like what brought this side of music for you? Like it's so pleasing and so mind shooting, I must say. And I'm sure that a lot of ladies, this is their kind of man. <laughs> it's not even about the look. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. When it comes to you know men, when it comes to there's just some stuff that attracts women to some yeah. people, and it's not just about the look. It, it was just like um, what's what's the name? Um, what's the name? Um, this man, this beautiful Numbia. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people were all drooling about him then. Yes, and still now because of his kind of music and your kind of music too. I'm sure a lot of people love it. So. So well, for me, my my music is highly influenced by um, uh, my upbringing. Okay. Um, I I grew up in a very loving family. Okay. Um, my dad, my late dad and mom, you know, they were very loving. They showed oh, love. Condolence. You know, we 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 saw them. We saw them in their elements. How they so much loved each other, and that love, you know, transcended, you know, onto we the children and. Um, Talking about family values as well, we we were never lacking in that area. Um, of course, coming from a very strong Christian background, everything has to be, you know, it has to be by the book, by the Bible. And of course, and if we, we were going to, you know, have a bit of social life, it was still in the context of, you know, uh, serenity. And um, I think that was part of the things that formed my my 
I mean, my own music sense, my dad will come home with um, the music of the Manila um, Omawura, <laughs> Ebenezer will be, you know, yeah. music that's, uh, that, that was so full of wisdom. Yes. Yeah, and not just about um, uh, dance gyration alone. So I, I was exposed at, at the very tender age, I was exposed to good, you know, music, proper music. And um, of course, I had... Um, some of my brothers who you know were very high and um, you know much with the hip hop so i had yeah. uh, so i had a very good blend of of both yeah so now going into music i all i needed to do was just to bring those two worlds together mm. and um and do a fusion or emerge of of both so i had the 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 strong african music background yeah. and um of course the contemporary yes. uh, western sound so you blended both yeah to give you this Definitely. That. so it was more like you created what you want yourself with it, what you had oh well it's it's been there all along like i us, usually say it's been there it's just for you to be able to open your eyes and see the, the possibilities and yes. just tap into it yes so afterwards you went to school to study to learn yeah. more about music i didn't i i didn't learn music from the four walls of um, you never learned what no, you're doing. No, 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 no. I like I used to tell people, it, yeah, it's good to study music. I mean, properly, you know, study music, go to school. Yeah. But, but real music is learnt on the streets. Hmm. It's learnt on the streets. Hmm. I mean, if you really want to want to excel, there are some things that, that you know, just about talking about them. Um, I, I once worked in a law firm. And then one of the partners was talking to one of the junior, junior lawyers. I think he just came back from court and um, the partner got word that um, the the lawyer, the junior lawyer who went to court messed up and he was quoting several, several, um, you know, law or whatever at um, the, the, the judge. And he, and he was like, I've always told you young lawyers that what you will learn in school is not what is practicable. Hmm in the real world so it's also like that in in music i mean in uh, when you go to study music they will teach you all the chord formation jazz whatever but i mean coming back to the reality the people you are relating with and uh, there are people who do not have the knowledge of these chords and whatever yes, reads that you yes. you've 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 learned learned so you have to learn how to now speak their own language mm. how to come down and relate to them mm. and that is what music is supposed to do mm, yeah I get, I get it, and I'm a fan. Thank you. <laughs> Before we move on, I am a big fan of yours. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yours. And you won AMVC. That was huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was huge. So, how did you feel when you won this award? So, I'm, um, I'm someone who, I mean, I just love to do what I do. Yeah. And I leave it there. Yes. I don't want too much, and I don't want less. Mm hmm. I just want to do what I, I just want to fulfill, I, I, I crave for the fulfillment. So when the nomination came, for me, I thought it was a win already. I mean, being nominated was a win for what me. was a win. So. Yeah, so I wasn't expecting too much. I, I mean, I got the invite and I said to myself, I'm just going to go to a co hotel and go and enjoy their money, go and eat their food <laughs> and, all, and all that. I yeah. mean... So, but I mean, some of some of my friends kept telling me that you are going to win. I mean, we've gone through the wow. the list, and we think your song stands out. And I'm like, guy, what just I'm just I'm just okay with this nomination. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, the my name was announced, and it's I mean, it's a good feeling to to know that um, your work is being recognized mm -hmm. by I mean by the big shots. Mm -hmm. um, remembering how the music came the journey through making that piece it was it was a challenging one but i'm i'm glad that um, at the end of the day got the effort got recognized yeah. yeah so music started from you right from when you were young right yeah definitely sure. mm -hmm. yes so and i got to realize that i got to see actually that you've been working with kunia flyer since 2016 yeah definitely. honestly i never knew so I had music like um Olu Roti, yeah. you sang the soundtrack of Roti, Roti. Yeah. So that was nice. So now doing Anikulako, that that was the movie that brought the award here. Yeah. You've done Anikulako, you've done other musics before now. Mm -hmm. And this was like then Ebenezeri. So yeah. it was like a breakout. 
did you know it was going to be like that? Do you know these both things were going to work okay, for you? Okay, well, um, looking back now and um, trying to 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 put things together, yeah. it felt like yeah, everything was already you know going to work out like this. But I never paid attention to it before the AMVCA. 2021 i won ama awards for Ooh. for for the soundtrack for citation okay yeah and you did the soundtrack for citation yeah i did wow. i did i did and um that was a very big one as well yeah. but i never paid attention to it so after that um i did several other works um i i also uh, produced the soundtrack for for king of boys part two with niola you did that for King of Boys. Yeah, so the, so the song, like this the, and so this so, so the song Niola did. Yeah, I co-wrote and produced that song. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. So so it's for, so for me it's just um like I usually tell people just keep doing what you're doing. Hmm. You never can tell when the right time or when that big blow is going to come out. Just yeah. keep at it, consistency. And just staying true to yourself. You know when you're doing it right. You know when you're not doing it right. You know when you're giving giving your all and when you're not. So for me, above everything, I just want to do it right, be consistent, and um give it my all so that I know that God so when when I'm when I'm conversing with God, I know that I've done my part, play your own part. Yeah. Okay, so so it's for people who have been following my journey it's it's not a big deal for them or they're not surprised mm. that the whole thing is coming to i mean together like Super. this and of course with the Ebenezer song as well mm. i mean nobody ever thought i personally never thought it was going to be as big as this or it was even going to be big because it wasn't something that was planned but uh, eventually the song came out and um we bless god yeah, we bless god mm -hmm. because you know, I was going through your YouTube channel. I know YouTube views doesn't define the success here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But when I was going through your YouTube channel, I saw one of the music far back as nine years ago. Yeah. So if I'm like, I'm like, nine years? Sorry, <laughs> no disrespect. But actually, in my head, I felt like this was someone that was new, you know, mm -hmm. with the Ebenezer, with the Anukulapo. As a matter of fact, I thought Anukulapo was the first, the first movie with Kuli mm -hmm. I never knew you did Oluwoti and all of mm -hmm. that. So when I saw the 9K views on Alakala and mm -hmm. I played it, I was like, this, yes, I think I've heard this before. But 9K views, that was quite... Yeah, a little, yeah. And then seeing Ebenezer live when you sang in the church mm -hmm. was... Three point something some million, million views, yeah. That with Imaho, my God, was two point. Two point something, yeah. How did you feel with this huge views? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know how to how to answer that question. But but then it's 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 humbling to be to be to be honest. I I feel honored. I I feel graced. I feel blessed. Mm -hmm. Honestly, because I don't consider myself to be the best. Um. There are so many people that are better better than than me than, than you. Yeah, so I just feel Grace found me. Hmm. Yeah, because the way Ebenezer came to be, I've I've I mean I've explained this times that number. It wasn't planned. It was just a normal random song that I wrote for the choir for us to perform at our anniversary. Wow. And um, just the fact that I love to put excellence in everything I do. Yeah. So I decided to get cameras, called camera guys, um, called some of my crew, my friends, to say, okay, we're going to multi-track this performance live. Let's just do something. Mm -hmm. you know, let's just do it well. Yeah. And not just because we want to impress anybody, just to fulfill, you know, just for that self-fulfillment. And we did the performance, did the, the video, the multi-track, took it to my studio, reproduced the, 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 the performance, edit, mixed and mastered it. And after all, I left it there. I didn't post. And that was, I mean, that was last year, November, mm -hmm. which we did that performance. And um, I left the video, the content there. I didn't post it. Mm. Nobody even talked about it. Mm. Up until March, when we were thinking of another project. And wow. we were like, oh, we have this wow. here. Now let's just, let's just post this one. So that we don't waste this content, but let's put our focus on this new mm -hmm. project that we're doing. Only for us to now post. I mean, I even did the posting myself, so that you. I mean, you just did it casually. Yeah, like. I mean, if someone else posted it, it might be a case of oh, 
maybe probably the person did a sponsored post like the or whatever. Of the yeah, person or I was the one that put, and I didn't do any. Just like the, no, the normal way, everybody would just post their content on, on, Instagram. on YouTube. It was even on YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And before you know, people started going there. It started getting this unusual traction, unusual traction. Unlike the rest of the ones unlike, that have been there. Yeah, unusual traction. In in two three days, we had three thousand views. Wow. And we're like, ah. Normally, in like a week or two, we would have maybe four hundred, five hundred mm. views. But this in three days, we're having three thousand views. Ah, ah, something is happening Impressive. here. Then in in a week, we're already having like ten thousand views. Then in like Two weeks, 20,000, 30,000. And before you know it, people started copying it, posting on WhatsApp, mm. on Instagram. Then influencers started jumping on it. Wow. And it, so it was just like, you know, when some things, you, you see these things hap- happening in, in the movies or people talking about these stories. But it's a different thing entirely when it's happening to you live and you're witnessing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's humbling. You won't yeah. be able to, ex- I mean, yeah. for the first two, three weeks that the song started, you know, making its rounds on social media, I all I could just do was just to keep quiet because I kept on asking myself questions upon questions. Wow. Who did this? Who wow. did this? <laughs> was it that someone... I was literally waiting for someone to come out and say, oh, I actually sponsored this song. Mm. Right? But it wasn't that case. And we're grateful to God. It was just God yeah. doing it. His yeah. work, you believe. Yeah. It was God doing it after yeah. that time. Yeah. Ah, really, really inspiring <laughs> what you just said. And I picked something from what you said. When you said, you just, obviously, like, like you would always do with every other music, but mm-hmm. you just felt like, what is what doing is what doing right. Definitely. So let's come together. This is one of those things that I feel like people do, like they undermine things, you know, when you want to do something, be it movie, be it content, be it anything, they just do it and they don't put yeah, their all in it yeah. or put so much passion in it and just like let's just say but if it is worth doing at the first place i feel like it is worth doing well it is worth doing well do something of standard at least Definitely. that people would because people are watching people are watching exactly all this while i'm sure a lot of people were watching you and for those people those first people that might have shared or you know that shared mm-hmm. the ebenezer area I sh- i'm sure that there are people that have been watching so with this one they just feel like ah there's something different about this one because I saw Funke Akindele, the mm-hmm. popular yeah. actress, and Funke jumped on it. That was where I even listened. Hmm. I saw her jumped on it like about twice. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Before then, I just, after then, afterwards, I just started seeing people, you know, jumping, jumping on, on it, it. Yeah. jumping on it, jumping on it. I was like, I think it was, it was like the third day after the song started gaining traction that that um, she just, she jumped on it and everybody was like, wow, for for a big you know, celebrated like Funky to, to jump on, on this song, then it must have gotten to yeah. Other, and before you know, everybody just started using it. So, would you say social media, you know, contributed to this? Definitely, definitely. I mean, it wasn't as if we went to any radio station to say, "Please help us play this song." And for the fact that it's even a live recording, not a studio recording, it's a live performance. Yeah, that was recorded. So it's it's not like a record, record, record that you would say so and for radio stations to now start jumping on it even the album that was released the song wasn't supposed to be in the album we took the song out oh from the live itself from from, no from the album collection which the song ebenezer is now in oh yeah so like i said we were planning a project the project we were planning i mean the choir was was an album okay we did album list and um Initially, we had a Benizari okay. on the list, but we took it out Oh, to say, oh, we have an, we have our eyes set on another song oh. that we think was going to blow. Oh, So we took the song out. Yeah. So after taking the song out, I just said, okay, you know, let's just post this video so that this video doesn't go to waste. Mm. Do you get? So yeah. when we now started on... On its own, Ebenezer just started making waves. And uh, as a then, we already had our album planned. Ebenezer was not part of it. So yeah. I had to tell my, my, my team that, guys, if you release any album now and you don't put this song there, nobody's going to buy it. Because oh. people were already tagging the album, the Ebenezer album. Yeah. The Ebenezer album. So all we just did was, we just used the, tr- the song, we put it back into the album and we used the song to sell the album. Mm. let's take it down to spirituality i'm sure this is god doing everything one definitely, step at the other definitely De- that's why i said um 
if you look at the trajectory, the the the, the um, trajectory from 2021 when I won AMA Awards with Citation. It's been one success after the other, one success after the other. But some of these things, like like I said, I I wasn't moved by them. All I wanted to, to do was just to do what I know how to do best and leave it there. So, I was coming back to 2021, I won AMA Awards and some couple of other um, awards there. Then 2022, um i got invited to to an event at, at first it was a nicola movie release oh yeah and um as the film was being released and of course making um waves, waves all over the song the soundtrack by itself people were single they, they were taking the soundtrack out of the movie and pr- singing praise of the soundtrack Oh. And by that, I also got invited to to a program at the U.S. Um, consulate um, summit, where I met the um, the consulate general and wow. some other top people. I mean, it was it was success upon success. But those things were like you know when you've been given puzzles, puzzles, yeah. puzzles, and you you don't really you know where to fit mm-hmm. until when they now bring the big machine and all of a sudden you are now seeing that oh so this is where this is going to fit. Mm. So that is how I mean that is how year 2023 is for yeah. me so it's been um a sum total of several sources yeah. over the years yeah. all piecing together to form yeah. a great a big yeah. machine yes so you know doing the process of this journey to this point where were like the down times because i'm sure in every career there's that <laughs> point whereby you get tired you be like you know what i am done i'm not doing this anymore i'm not pushing any further what was it like for you i want to share from your experience like down see down <laughs> down times eh? Mm. and getting to this stage i i'm just realizing now that it doesn't even stop it gets bigger Mm. those down times get big they get bigger and more so you're saying with this point where you are that I'm we feel like you're blown <laughs> you feel like the challenge so, you know just got so, started so so when the elders say the more the more your success yeah. the more your headache <laughs> that is how it is wow so at times you you at times you are stuck in between do i go back to when i wasn't famous or when there was this success wasn't exist or do i just stay here and you realize that at every level, at every level and every ladder you climb, there is always going to be that challenge. Hmm. You know, before you, before you get into the limelight, there is always the challenge of, of um, accept, uh, acceptability. Mm-hmm. You get rejected here, you get rejected rejected there, you get used here, you get used there, you know, you get talked down upon here, and you know all sorts. And when you finally make it to to that spotlight. Then you get dragged again. Hmm. Just like you said, you I mean, some people felt, oh, it's just the Ebenezer song that brought him out. Oh, is, is it not the song? That is just the song that brought him yeah. out. But, but a lot of people don't know that there have actually been a lot of other um, stuff that I've done and I've actually spoken for me. Hmm. But just because the Ebenezer was now the crown, you know, the icing on the cake. Yeah. So the, you get dragged out. He doesn't deserve it now. He doesn't deserve oh. it. Oh, he's just one song. You understand? Oh, so yeah. then when you do another song or when you, you attain another level, it's another thing entirely. So with every level you get to, there are always going to be challenges. Be it people talking bad about you or be it scandals or whatever. So it's just left for you to to keep your focus i mean if you look at the greats if they tell you their story you would i mean you would know what i'm saying that yes. at every point in time of course you're also a big art, um, actress you ah, know you I know these things that i'm that i'm saying that yeah, at yeah. every level you 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 can't you, you can't expe- escape it mm-hmm can't you, escape you can't, it. You can't. so what was like that 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 downtime from you one of your experiences just tell me what experience what happened at any time during this journey that you just feel like you know what i am like completely done not just done and saying okay let me rest and you maybe probably just want to give up okay so i'm not going to mention the artist but eventually we are now close okay (laughs) so 
in fact the this person i'm going to talk about was actually instrumental in me meeting someone who also helped me in my journey oh, okay i mean i remember meeting this person and this person told me that ah you want me to promote you what do you have and i mentioned what i had what i had on me and the person said ah, you better go back home and go and look for another job to do whoa that <laughs> with, with this this one i can't even give it to my gate man or my driver go 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 back i mean that was that day i felt i felt like just giving it and like giving Ooh. up and it's but i'm i'm grateful that um i'm grateful for those those moments because what those moments did was it toughened me up oh yeah so that's what these challenges that's what they do it it, it, it helps you get stronger helps you so once you once you're able to conquer this if there is any other one coming to you that is not as big as this obviously you know how to deal with it yeah and then of course it, it, it strengthens you and equip you to be able to deal with the next um challenge that's coming yeah. coming up yeah so when that challenge happened what was that thing that you told yourself that made you you know like you said you wanted to give up yeah and I, I mean i back. remember going home and i said to myself i'm just going to delete all my songs and whoa I'm, I'm you done with this 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 journey whoa. <laughs> and um <laughs> i spoke to a cousin of my uh, mine and the, 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 the lady said why do you want to give up is that person god mm. and that that sentence just struck and ju- it struck my mind and i i felt you know what forget i'm just going to keep keep on going and guess what it was the same person late a year later heard my song and said wow ah apparently this person had forgotten that we've met before the person heard my song and said i want to help this guy i want to meet this guy mm. and we met and we became best of friends and but do you think that what that person said as at that time was meant to to have been said to shaping you at titan definitely you okay. definitely because just like i said i'm not sure the person even remember that that encounter wow you understand so and of course it's also a lesson in the journey that uh, you do, you don't you don't keep enemies you, every for every situation you you get yourself into you always have to you know just forge ahead no matter what for, just forge ahead yeah so for all those time that you get this overwhelming feeling you just speak to yourself turn to god you are your own mot- uh, motivational speaker nobody's going to come and motivate you you have to motivate yourself at the end of the day what are your watchwords whatever is worth doing is worth doing well oh yeah that's that's for me that is that's what keeps me going if i'm producing a song it doesn't i mean it doesn't matter how much i'm being paid for or, or i mean challenges i just want to do it well because once my name is going to be there mm-hmm. it has to be well done mm-hmm. it has to speak the, i mean the value has to be there so because where where you are not going to get to the works of your hands are going to get there and it is whatever it is you've done that will speak for you yeah at that so-called big round table just with just at the round table where those big decisions big decision makers are going to be making decisions so imagine when i i, I just mentioned um anikola but i had some some bit of challenges you know working on the song on, on that project to, to 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 be i mean after doing i had to, <laughs> the funnest thing is the album for anikola that came out is actually the second album so i had done a complete body of work okay for that movie that was scrapped so if if i wasn't tough enough at that point i should have just said you know what i don't think i can do this oh Ooh. this this um person is stressing me yeah, but yeah. you know it's you from the, the yeah but, but yeah you. but from the understanding that you know what the, it's not a personal vendetta it's not as if this person is stressing me this mm. person actually wants the best mm-hmm. and of course I also need to give the best. Mm-hmm. So I had to also say okay, you know, I'm going to scrap this album. Let's do another album entirely. And um I'm happy I did. And of course, if you look at the AMVC award that I won, it was not by vote. 
So yes. it, it, if it was by vote, you would say, oh, maybe probably I was able you, to you gather. It. Yeah, probably I was able to gather some voting machines or yes, whatever. Yes. But it was decided by panels. And when these things are decided by panels, obviously you know that these are technical people who have seen it all and done yes, it all. Yes, yes. So everything from, from the lyrics, the sound, the mix and everything is going to be scrutinized. Yes. So f- and for me to have won, it means that I passed test yes so you would agree that um like you said producer and you being a um music person yeah. you would agree be it from the producer to the music person or from a producer to an editor and the producer saying that this thing no i don't want it let's do more let's do more you agree that it's for the best in as much as that producer wants something good for themselves i believe that this other person be it the music person be it the, an editor too should also see it as i am trying to give my very best in this job on this job rather mm-hmm. because i see I, yeah. I see some people like they make it feel just like what you said like this person is stressing me out and sometimes i'm always angry with you know cool members when i'm working because i feel like it's your department you own it you have to give it your all. that's what i feel like when we are working i'm a producer you're a dop you're a director you're a dis i feel like if you're so passionate about your department and you want to grow in that department you want to be the best of yourself in that department you should be as passionate as i am definitely as a producer so stop seeing it like oh because she paid me for it she's trying to push me around yeah so it's so just like to, to butter, buttress what you said um in the movie industry um, i mean making a movie i've been on set i mean several times and um i understand how these things work mm-hmm. so you you have the director who is the one interpreting the story yeah the script is interpreting the story so and so everything starts and ends at the imagine or with the imagination of the di- the, the director, he yeah. knows how he wants the picture to come out. Yeah. He knows what angle he wants to use to tell a particular scene. Yeah. So it means that you either you like it or not. You have to work to be able to achieve his aim, his goal, and mindset. So yes. imagine, so imagine um, a director is sitting on uh, you sitting on set and um, you are about to shoot a scene. And the director is saying, okay, this particular scene, I want you to 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 actually interpret this role, you know, emotionally. And you as an actress or as an actor, you are seeing something different from the script and you are interpreting it differently from what the director wants. Meanwhile, the director had already given instruction to the camera person to say, this is how I want you to shoot this scene because I want it to be, shoot, I want it to be emotional. Yeah. So the cameraman is shooting from a different perspective yes the actor is acting. is acting from another different perspective, perspective. the probably the maybe the extra suit mm. from another so it's going to be a total disaster yes so he pays you at the end of the day to make sure that everybody is working you know with one goal and yes. one mission so yes. that at the end of the day, even if it's a little effort that you're putting but when everything works together you get big credit for it yes. i mean it makes if it, it feels like oh this guy has done so well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So you've been toying around. You've been saying your pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Flying in and out. <laughs> uh, I'm sure this is one of your dreams. Or oh, is this your first time traveling? Oh, well, majorly, yeah. yeah. So I've done African countries. but I'm mm. sure this is one of your dreams. And not the fact that I want to travel out of the country. Mm. I mean, I want my passion to take me around Definitely, the world. definitely. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel, I feel fulfilled because I've always said it that I am, I'm, I don't, I mean, I'm, this is, I'm, I'm not trying to, to, to shade people who shade the jackpots. Yeah. You know, we all have our goals in life, but I've always said it that I don't want to travel outside of the country to go and do some other thing. Okay. I want to travel out of the country to go and do what I love to do. Okay. I want to be called outside of the country to say, come, come and I mean, we we need your talent. We need your services. So for me, it's um, it's um, it's a dream c- come true that um, I'm traveling around to do what I've been called to do. And um, definitely, it's not going to be the end. The never. Yeah. Amen. It will <laughs> never be the end. <laughs> it will never be the end. So what are you working on? What are we expecting more? We love Ebenezer. We are such a yeah. huge fan of your work. So we want to see more. We are dropping an EP very, very soon. So we just shot another video 
um, for another singles. Okay. Um, so we're dropping an EP. We're doing collaborations. Um, definitely, we're working on more tours for next year. Wow. So next year, by the grace of God, um, it's going to be a very busy year for for myself and the team. Okay. Um, we're just praying for strength and mm. um, a direction and grace upon everything that we lay our hands on. Because Which God will give you yeah. every. Definitely. We will give you every and I'm telling you on behalf of myself and your other fans that we are always going to be supportive. Thank you. I need that, su- that be support. Behind that you. support is jump is on <laughs> anything. If you like cough, if you like sneeze, you're jumping <laughs> on it. Because like I say, when God's grace starts, it never stops. It never stops. And it has started and it would never stop. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. And before we get to wrap up, what is it that you have to say to people that just like you said when you were talking about all of these things, you said why you were toying around the world at me you're happy that this is what you have always wanted you know my passion should speak for me and take me places so what is it that you're going to tell people that are looking forward to become this something like i really want to do this i think the world needs to get me i want my you know passion to take me everywhere yeah so i'm 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 going to say that um just keep doing what you know how to do best but um surround yourself with good heads you yourself, you have to be. You have to stay true. Stay true to yourself. Um, don't be lazy, hmm. and above all, don't forget the God factor. The God factor is very, very ins- essential. Yeah, I mean, it's like the it's like the most important thing, because no man can actually achieve anything without the help of God. Yes. So make sure that you are you are at the right stand with God. Know that everything you are doing, the intent behind it, the intent should not be oh I want to blow. The intent should be that I want to fulfill destiny. Mm. So, because there, are, of course, there are people that blow, that you know get successful, Thomas Blue and all the rest. But you, after a while, you don't get to hear them anymore. Yes, that's so, true. Yeah, you don't get to hear them. But fulfilling destiny is key. So mm. when you fulfill, because for every man that God has created, is for a purpose. Yes. So find your purpose in what you're doing. Mm. So if if you are not meant to sing for, I mean, for the commercial, this and you are trying to 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 sing for commercial um, side of things, you just get frustrated. For some people, they've been called to just bless souls in the church. For some people, they've been called to be a blessing to to um, sorry to to mankind. I mean, cut across to, to some people, their talent is just meant to be for their wives or for their husband. Just okay. saying, you know, probably they are meant to do something else. So that's that's my word for them. Mm. Ah. Fulfillment of purpose. Fulfillment. We've learned what is worth doing is worth doing well. Yeah. We've learned you putting your all in everything that you want to do. You're not giving up, mm-hmm. putting God first and your purpose. Yes. I think there's more, but I've just said a <laughs> few of what you've said. Yeah. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, for thank you so me. much for coming, Kent. Uh, do choppy. Thank you so, so much. So, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching today's episode on Exciting Moments with Debbie, where we get to gist and chat with your amazing celebrities. I'm sure that Kent Edu Jobby has, you know, used his journey so far to, you know, to inspire you. And after now, I'm sure there will be changes because whether you like it or not, if if you want to be great, you're going to face challenges. And whatever challenges you're facing now, just know that if you do not give up, it's for something big. Thank you so much for watching. And as you all know that the show is proudly sponsored by the PLS Studio. And the glam was done by Berry Glam. And my outfit is from Army Collections. Till I come your way, guys, please subscribe. Click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to share to friends and family. Click on the notification so that you'll be the first to be alerted. Love you guys and God bless you. Have a fun field week. Bye, guys.